Yo, before this video starts, I just wanted to mention that I'm thinking about doing some more YouTube-oriented content in the future. Things such as having people submit edits and having me or some other credible people uh, critique them or gently roast or just kind of give feedback on uh, those edits. So if you're interested in stuff like that, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. And yeah, let's get on with the video. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to easily achieve some really good quality for your, uh, you know, edits or your AMVs or whatever you're making. And I learned this from Strixty on uh, Instagram, so, you know, go check him out. I'll put a little thing on the screen uh, with his at. And uh, yeah, let's jump right in. So first, you're going to make an adjustment layer, apply the sharpen effect, and set this to 50. Next, you're going to apply the unsharp mask effect. Uh, leave this at the amount at 50 and put the radius on 25 Next we're going to apply the detail preserving upscale Set everything here to 100 so all three of these And lastly we want to apply the instant 4k effect now. This isn't natively a part of after effects So you're gonna have to uh, Find it somewhere online uh, But you're gonna set it to 12 4 and 6 and this should give you some pretty nice quality. Um, you'll see here that uh, the lines are a lot more defined, uh, whereas before it was pretty muted and stuff and you could barely see the lines. Uh, they're a lot more clear now. There is some noise, but when you're zoomed out like this, it's pretty hard to tell. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, there's a little bit more I want to talk about here, so you know, don't leave yet. Uh, Firstly, if you think that this noise is too much, um, you can lower that by lowering the sharpen amount. So if you lower this to like 15, a lot of this noise will go away. You'll lose a little bit of sharpness, but uh, you know if you're zooming into it or uh, people are going to be scrutinizing it, then um, you know don't be afraid to lower that sharpen amount. But generally, it's okay to leave it around 50. And next, especially on this clip right here, I wanted to use it as an example of a clip that's already pretty sharp. So there's not a whole lot that you can do to this clip to make it better. Um, it's already pretty good. Uh, so the sharpen amount here is just way too much. You can see all the noise um, and it just doesn't look good. So this is one of those clips where you'd want to lower it to like 15. And uh, in this way you can get rid of the, some of that noise um, just like that. And while still keeping the rest of the sharpen effects on it. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I do. I hope it helped you. I hope you learned something. Uh, if it did, drop a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, 